In Greek mythology, sirens are essentially the alluring boxes of the sea, usually represented by women, with the minor exception that they have bird bodies. Sounds interesting, right? Make sure to watch the complete video to know more about these scary but seducing creatures that everyone loved to hear from but were scared of at the same time. According to legend, the sirens were the daughters of the river deity Echolos and a muse. The specific muse varied with different stories, but Terpsichore, Melpomene, and Calliope were most likely considered. On the other hand, the legendary tragedian Euripides claimed that Sterope, one of the Pleiades, was the mother of the sirens. These creatures were singing enchantresses who would entice passing sailors to their islands and ultimately to their death. They were half-birds and half-beautiful maidens. Most people believe that they resided on three tiny rock islands known to the Romans as Serenum Scapuli. But if the legend is to be trusted, the sirens' home was horrifying with a huge mound of bones laying all around them and the flesh from the victims' bodies still festering. In contrast to many other well-known figures in the monster world, sirens have a vague origin story. Their roots grow from several branches, yet some of them stick out. According to Ovid, it is considered that the sirens were formerly Persephone's personal attendants. However, they were unfortunate enough to watch her being taken away by Hades, since the crazy young man fell in love with her, where the beliefs diverge is at this point. According to some legends, the gods granted the sirens their recognizable wings and feathers so they might soar through the air in search of their absent mistress. In the other myths, the sirens were cursed with avian forms because it was thought they couldn't help free Persephone from Hades' gloomy grasp. Whatever the case, all sources agree that they were eventually constrained to the sea, where they nested on flowering rocks and beckoned sailors to settle there with their eerie singing sounds. However, being the ultimate figure of seduction and temptation, one may anticipate that the average siren would resemble one of the world's most attractive and symmetrical women. They ought to have been portrayed in Greek mythology as the epitome of beauty, similar to the god Adonis, as they were the fantastic female form speaking with the voice of divine nature. Right? Wrong! The average Greek poet and Roman writers link the sirens to ultimate death. Their descriptions of the sea deities in writing reflect this. The sirens were initially depicted as avian-human hybrids. Contrary to popular perception, their appearance is not described in Homer's Odyssey. Greek art and ceramics depicted them as having a bird's body, complete with sharp, scaly nails and a woman's face. They sang tunes that touched everyone's hearts as they rocked the dopiest playlists. All types of sailors were drawn to their singing, which also played a crucial role in the overproduction of serotonin. The ancient Greeks greatly adored music, represented by the deity Apollo. It was critical to their way of life, much like today. Melodies of profound harmony moved ancient Greeks who played instruments like the lyre and kithara. Their objective was simple, to use their captivating tunes to capture stray sailors. Their melodies are claimed to seduce the sailors, and if the tune is heard correctly, it would send them to an inevitable end and provide the sirens with a satisfying feast. As a result, the siren's voice was just a symbol of temptation a dangerous kind of temptation that impacted people's minds. They continued to draw sailors, leading them to the end of their line as their lovely voices in alluring music lured them in. It resembled an early version of Spotify, except that it wouldn't kill you if you listened to it for a long time. During that time, naval journeys were recognized as one of the most challenging courses of action. It was because the deep sea wasn't a cozy place to live. It was a frothy foam of wrath that would take the lives of seamen who were sleeping and unaware of their surroundings. There was imminent danger in this blue hell. It goes without saying that sirens and numerous other strong sea deities, including Poseidon and Oceanus, made an appearance in Greek mythology and legend as scary monsters that enticed sailors to rocky coasts. This clarified abrupt shipwrecks and mysterious things that happened in the deep water. This also contributes in their bloodthirsty trait. Ancient Greek and Roman authors attributed these shipwrecks to the sirens as they washed up on uncharted shorelines without any explanation. Since they were regarded as beings from the underworld, birds were frequently selected to represent such monsters in art. In mythology, birds often served as the vehicle for moving souls. They may have originated from ba birds the Egyptian term for souls destined for death that flew away in the shape of a bird with human faces. This concept was carried over into Greek mythology, where poets and playwrights typically continued to depict sirens as malevolent hybrids of a woman and a bird. 
Sirens just appear to be these alluring beings from a distance. However, their appearance became more prominent when they enticed the nearby sailors with their honey-sweet tones. In the Middle Ages, mermaids and sirens started to be linked and gradually merged into a single idea due to the inflow of European tales that drew their inspiration from Greek mythology. However, the difference between mermaids and sirens is noticeable. Even though they both live by the sea and share the same character in popular culture, they are very different people. Consider sirens as an example. The calls of sirens are renowned for luring sailors to the other side. They are the foretellers of death and disaster through alluring trickery, as shown in Homer's Odyssey. On the other hand, Greek mythology had radically distinct representations of mermaids. They represent calm and oceanic grace, since they have fish bodies from the waist down and gorgeous faces. In actuality, mermaids and humans frequently mated resulting in the birth of hybrid children. Because of this, people's perceptions of mermaids and sirens were very diverse from one another. Sirens represented death and trickery, much like the numerous other trickster gods of ancient mythology. On the other hand, mermaids were also a picture of marine beauty and laid-backness. Unlucky sailors were lured in by sirens with their pompous tunes while mermaids lounged and provided peace to everyone who caught sight of them. In Greek mythology, the muses were the goddesses of art, learning, and creativity in general. In other words, they served as the motivation and information for anybody in the Greek world who discovered their inner old Einstein. The most dramatic occurrence in a legend by the illustrious Stephanus of Byzantium has been emphasized by modern admirers. It alludes to some kind of prehistoric singing competition between the muses and the sirens. Hera, the goddess's own queen, organized this strange singing competition. Bless her for arranging the first ever season of Greek Idol. The sirens were embarrassed when the muses ultimately outperformed them in singing, and as a result, they stopped singing to win and instead sang at the sea to torment the sailors. Even in today's society, sirens are still frequently brought up in conversation, even while sailors no longer dread them, since they can now be monitored and understood very well. Many people still find them terrifying and fascinating. Late at night, some sailors might vouch that they can hear the faint calls of a female in the distance. Some have thoughts of a girl singing while sitting on a rock and having an infinite number of teeth. Some people tell children tales of a figure half lady and half fish that lurks beneath the waves and will. If given a chance, rumors are still spreading in the age of contemporary technologies. Greek legends concerning these beings have been handed down from generation to generation. Whatever the truth may be, their appearance may occasionally alter through spoken descriptions, but their objectives always stay the same. As a result, these marine seductresses have cemented their reputation in history. All these are a tribute to the siren myth from ancient Greece, which is still a source of dread for modern seafarers. This was it for these scary creatures with alluring voices. If given an opportunity, would you like to meet these intriguing creatures? Let us know what you think about them in the comment box below. We'll see you next time. Until then, goodbye.